Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. I'm Mani E. Um, as you can read by the title, it's going to be a day as a medical assistant. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy this video of me. So I just sat down, taking off my coat. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to log in because this is the computer I'm going to be using today to um, and calls, transfer costs to nurses. I'm checking um, my email next just to see if I've been switched to a different location because I am a float medical assistant and they do switch you last minute. I'm also checking for um, important emails that I may need for the day and just to see like up to date messages and things. And then I'm try I'm seeing who I'm working with today and that's about it. Welcome to the COVID hotline. My name is Imani. Are you calling for yourself or someone else? And are you calling to schedule a COVID test for a procedure or surgery? Is your daughter a patient at Michigan Medicine within the last 24 months? And does she have any COVID symptoms? And what is our temperature? Okay, I'm gonna transfer you to a pediatric nurse for further assessment. From that last clip you saw that I answered the phone. I basically do that um, for the next nine hours and 30 minutes that I'm here. I'm here for a whole 10 hours. I get a 30 minute lunch. Um, I already took my lunch. Um, I didn't film in the morning because I'm not a morning person. Um, but I already took my lunch. I got me some Panera bread. I got me some soup. In a vanilla cinnamon blend. Um, now that I have energy, I can film. But like the last clip, I just answer phone calls like that. Um, if they're a pediatric patient, I send them to the pediatric nurse. And if they're a adult patient, I just send them to the regular nurse. Um, so yeah, um, I'll add some clips where I do um, talk to patients. And um, cause they do ask questions because this is a hotline. So um, I, if I can answer it on my own, I'll answer it. And if I can't answer it, then I'll send them to the nurse. So I'll ask some clips if I get any calls like that. Um, today we only had a total of 57. I started at seven and the other girl that I'm here with, she started at 7.30. Um, so we only have 57 calls so far and it's 110 and I leave at 530 and she leaves at 6 so um, We'll just see how many total calls we get today um, But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next clip You say you're calling to check your test results And has it been 24 to 48 hours? Okay, um, I'll just hang up, I'll just transfer you to a nurse to see if your results are back. You're welcome. So right here, um, this is me just trying to keep myself busy. You do get bored because, like I said, today is Sunday and we really don't get a lot of calls on Sundays. So it is quite boring. Um, in between my calls, I try to, um check my email if I check my email I'm probably searching on the internet to go shopping or if I'm not shopping I'm probably about to watch Netflix and a few so yes it gets really boring but watch me be bored
welcome to the COVID hotline. Are you coming for yourself or someone else? And are you calling to schedule a COVID test for a procedure or surgery? So no, um, we're only testing symptomatic patients and patients with procedures at this time. Yes. Yes. Any other questions? Okay, you have a great day. So with that call, um, we wanted to get a cover test for travel and we don't test based off travel. Um, I could have suggested where he could have went, but um, he was talking, so I couldn't like, oh, you can go here, but he was talking, and I try not to talk over them, not to, like, not to be rude or anything, so yeah, that call was based off travel, and we're only testing symptomatic, which are high priority right now, and patients with procedures. Um, we test patients with procedures at this time just for the safety of our staff so they can know if that person that they're doing a procedure or surgery for is po COVID positive or negative before the procedure. So yeah. Some patients are, do be upset that we only test symptomatic and for procedures, but it is what it is. So yeah. So not to be repetitive or anything, um, I'm just going to end the video right here because it's about to be 2 o'clock and I'm here to 5.30 and I just keep seeing the same thing over and over and over and I don't want the video to be boring. So I just did a little few calls, just a, a few clips to add in to let y'all know what I do today. Um, like I said, I am a float medical assistant. Um, so this is just the job that I'm doing today. Tomorrow I will be actually at a clinic um, at our drive through um, sites. Um, we say drive through but they're inside of the building um, where um, patients can get their um, nose swabs. But yes, I'll be there tomorrow because I'm a float inmate and it just bosses like throughout all the clinics that we do the COVID testing at. And then they, um, they float us here as well to the COVID hotline. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the video. See you tomorrow.